fights here. UFC fighter Andy Main, Peter Queeley, they're all ready to go. But I'm being told that Logan is a bit backed up. But he's looking like a caged animal. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he is pacing back and forth. He squashed his beef with Michael Buffer. They're good now. I saw them shake hands, so that is good to hear. But we are, I think, waiting on Logan Paul's arrival, and that's why uh, things have gone a little bit delayed here. I'm in awe. Should I get a word with Dylan? Am I allowed to? I don't know if I'm allowed to. Okay. They, they said no. Ada, you're trying to get me fired here. I'm trying to be intrepid reporter on the ground, but they said not yet. Okay, I'm gonna try. Apologies, I don't wanna fall. Dylan. I'm here with Dylan Dennis. Dylan, we're live right now, and I'm told that Logan isn't here right now. What do you make of this? He's scared. I mean, the crowd is here for me. I want to do a real face-off. He wants to get in the cage. Just gets face-to-face. -face. I want to see his eyes. He's probably doing lines of coke in the bathroom right now, trying to hype himself up just to see me. What happened earlier today with the win? You were complaining on Twitter that he came over the limit. He was, uh, he was too late, which should be a penalty for him. It is a penalty in the contract because the weigh-in was from 10 to 11, and he showed up at 11.30, so they better pay me my money. Do you feel like the, the cards are, are stacked against you here? Do you feel like all the, all the odds as far as the promotion, everything that he's doing is against you? That's what him and Jake do. They're not real fighters. They try to stack everything on their side, and they try to win. So they're a bunch of pussies, and then you're going to find out on Saturday night. All right. Thank you very much, Dylan. Appreciate it. There's the word, guys, from Dylan Dennis. Still no sign just yet. I'm looking on the other side of the stage, and I don't see any members of Team Paul at the moment. On the zone from one of the great sports cities in the world, Manchester! Let me hear it! This is the moment the world has been waiting for, especially here in Manchester. The official way in for our final two fights tomorrow night on the Prime Card. An evening of professional boxing for your entertainment, and it's all presented by Misfits Boxing at the legendary AO Arena here in Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, it's sponsored by Kick, Steak, and of course, Prime. Sanctioned by the Professional Boxing Association General Secretary Michael Baker, Supervisor Mickey Van. So let's get things started with the weigh-in for the first fighter. This contest on the Prime Cards Double Rumble is scheduled for six three-minute rounds. In the cruiserweight division, it has a catchweight limit of 195 pounds. First up on the stage into the scales, making his boxing debut, he comes to us from New York City, New York, USA, an accomplished combat sports star, an MMA star, and a four-time world champion jiu-jitsu superstar. He is Double D, Dylan Dana! Stepping onto the scales. 195 pounds right on the money. The limit at 195. Dylan Dennis. Next up on to the stage and then the scales, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis's opponent. He comes to us from the United States of America, native born in Ohio. He's one of the most prominent social media influencers in the world, and he's a WWE superstar. He is Logan the Maverick Paul.
Once again, six rounds scheduled in the cruiserweight division with a limit of 195. Next on to the scale from the United States, the Maverick, Logan Paul. Logan Paul on the scales. 195 limit. 194.4 for the Maverick, Logan Paul. It's the prom card tomorrow night at the AO Arena, the Manchester Arena. A double rumble. Co-feature and feature. Take the mask off. Here they are face to face in a special security cage. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a glass partition between the two fighters. We want them to be fit, ready, and healthy for tomorrow night's contest on the prime card at the AO Manchester Arena. Oh, here we go, come on, man. Come on, once again six three minute rounds the action will be intense here they are face to face but divided by a special glass partition once again, we want the fighters to be healthy and save that energy for the ring tomorrow night on the prime card. Dylan Dennis, Logan Paul. Let's do a real face-off. 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 No, let's do a real face-off. Real face-off. Real face-off. Let's do a real face-off. It's all broadcast live and exclusively on zone Worldwide. The sold out AO Arena in Manchester. Dylan, let me get a quick word with you. Dylan. One second, Dylan, you finally had a chance to face off. What did you see in his eyes when he's you looked into He's a pussy, bro. He has nothing behind his eyes. He has a bunch of cocaine behind his eyes. He's a fake fighter. Let's do a real stare off like a man. But he's a fucking pussy. Where's Nina at? Where's Nina at, you little bitch? Dylan. Bring that whore up here. All right, let's get a word with Logan now. If I can. Let me get, let me get a little word with Logan. Logan. Obviously, there was... There was a lot of concern. It all goes down tomorrow night at the AO Arena in Manchester. Let me just get a quick word with Logan. Logan, there was some concern about you yesterday. How are you feeling? How is the face? No concern. I'm feeling beautiful. Dylan Dennis is a coward. He's a predator. And I'm fucking him up, Ariel. I'm fucking him up tomorrow. He's a dirty ass fighter. I got all the goons in case he tries anything funny. In fact, I got Dylan Dennis kryptonite in the building. You know I brought the baddest dudes in the world. I got Gordon Ryan to protect me in case he tries any jujitsu bullshit. This man gonna fuck you up tomorrow you try to pull some shit. Well, there he is, one of the greatest jiu-jitsu practitioners of all time. That is, in fact, Gordon Ryan. Gordon, why are you here? Really, I'm here just to uh, retrieve Dylan because I need someone to clean my cars, and he's the one who usually does it, and so I came all the way here just to retrieve him to bring him back home to Texas. Long-standing feud between these two that dates back many, many years, Gordon Ryan and Dylan Dennis. I would love to get Dylan's thoughts on this, but I don't know if I could do that. Let me just ask you. Dylan ain't got no thoughts. He's fucking brain dead. Finally, what happened this morning with the Wayne? in He says that the... Uh, he says a lot of shit. It's all bullshit. He's looking for any reason he can to pull out of this fight, but it's coming, Dylan. 24 hours, I'm going to decapitate your fucking ass. Thank you very much, Logan. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. Should I get Dylan's quick thoughts, Dylan? Gordon Ryan is here. What do you make of that? That's a steroid supplier. That's what it is. Two juice heads. Two fucking juice heads. I don't know how to fucking real fight. Gordon's a little bitch. That's what he's selling out. He's from Jersey, and you're going to support the other side. You're a fucking dead man when you get back to Jersey, you pussy-ass bitch. 
There you have it, guys. Ade, that history between those two dates back many years in the jiu-jitsu community. A big surprise there. Gordon Ryan here to support not Dylan Dennis, but his enemy, Logan Paul.